I mentioned yesterday and, and the day before that I was interested in seeing higher prices on ES kind of catch up with the NASDAQ. And I specifically sent out a tweet with a chart that noted each buy side liquidity pool that I felt that the market would reasonably run up into and engage that buy side. This is a little bit more refined with the details here and using the information I've already talked and talked about you know, throughout the week. We have a buy side liquidity pool here. The market drops down at 930. This is a Judas swing. It trades down and clears out this short term low here. And this move here, we're going to look at it in great detail also. But we have a shift in market structure right above this short term swing high right there. Then a fair value gap there. And it occurs between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. We're bullish. We've seen the market drop down and we trade into a fair value gap. This is a silver bullet long. Does buying it here using this candle's low, buying it here and running to that high, does it offer 10 handles? Yes, because 4140 to 4130 essentially is 10 handles and that has yet to meet this high here, which would be above 4144. Or So the criteria looking at that as a silver bullet running to that buy side, it offers a range of potential 10 handles. So you can be a buyer there and let, let's see if it gets up here, but you want to take profits at five. And that's how I teach my son Cameron to work with that model. And it does, in fact, offer it. And then watch what happens when it hit, once it hits the buy side. It comes right back down in and takes out the sell side. So it's offering what? A run on stops. Why would it want to do that? So smart money can accumulate new longs while trailed stop losses get taken out. But what's it trading back down into? That daily discount fair value gap. But more specifically, in the upper quadrant, the 75% of that range. Look closer. This imbalance here, when it trades up here, traders that think that this is a liquidity void or something to that effect, uh, they think that it's it's done here. It's it's balanced now. It's not. That's not a balanced price range. That's just rebooked and repriced to an inefficiency. That's all it has done. It has not become balanced yet. When the market trades down to the low of that again here and leaves the range, which it does on this candle here, this has now become a balanced price range because price has been delivered to the downside, to the upside, failed to go lower, respected it, and then left the range. So it's acted as a trading range inside of this one micro imbalance on a three-minute chart. This candle's high here is the very candle low right there, precisely. It's not one tick short, not one tick off. It's exactly that price. And I counsel you to look at your own price data, and you'll see that is, in fact, the truth. So when you see that, you can trust that if we start to move higher, then we've probably made the low of the day. And that would be down here. And I'll give you more details as we go. And let's take a closer look at that now. So we're down into a one minute chart here, everything being equal. And that balanced price range, you can see the range between 10 a.m. and 11 o'clock, New York local time always. 